Hi Aquarius. So this is a random read per a subscriber's sub, uh, request. She said, can you please do a random read? I just feel like I need a message. I said, why not? Right? Alright, so I don't know exactly what you guys want me to drill down on. So we'll just do everything. Career, finance, love and romance and uh leave you throwing a little health and well-being okay so let's get into it thank you spirit for showing aquarius the message for career finance career finance career fi king of swords nice coming up Whatever you do, you're doing something, something very skilled. It could even be something that it's something that was learned, but it's also it takes a, a bit of uniqueness. So whatever you're doing, you're being very fair, very decisive, very clear. Uh, you're giving advice, giving knowledge wisdom word without without fluff without all of the you know the theatrics uh there's no lies it's, it's very just and fair in whatever you're doing um you're being very fair in your in your career and finance sector Ooh, two cards fell out on the deck well more than two eight of cups Prince of Wands. Wow. The Hangman. Okay. Wow. And then the Ace of Swords. Ah. Wow. And then the Ten of Cups. Okay. So Aquarius. In career and finance, this looks like an element of... Some of you just decided to get on... A, a, go on your own spiritual journey. Wherever you were with these cups, it was unfulfilling. You didn't know where you stood here. It was always shaky ground. It was always up to something or someone else. This could be like uncertain employment. Sometimes you 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 got employment, but you didn't know if you were going to be able to stay, if there was going to be a layoff or a fire coming or whatever. Uh, so you decided to go on your own journey. You decided to go your own way. You decided to go in a new direction that would lead you to a place of feeling satisfied content feeling like you're on the right path um something was sick was like a uh, cyclical um like you kept going to go work for and then this would happen and you it, it, you just would do it all over again but you got off the cycle it could have been seven years seven months seven i don't know could be or more but now you're at that eight year or, or you made some determination that you're moving forward uh, this could have been abruptly. You saw the opportunity for advancement, career advancement, to move forward, to to seize the moment, take the opportunity. Um, you're very high, passionate about this, high energy. Um, to do this might have caused a lot of upheaval within yourself, within the whole dynamic of your life. Um, you made some permanent decision to to not go back to a cycle here. Get very clear and definite with yourself. There might be an air of stagnation or things slowing down right now because you're trying to see things from a different perspective, gain even more enlightenment about this new path, this new found path. This is making decision impermanent. So you can't go back. Even if you go back, it's going to be hard to go back. Um, it's not It's not going to be an easy journey going back. You see, there's water here. You know, he, he or she crossed water. So it's going to be tough to go backwards on this. Whatever you decided to do, it's like a, a change, a career change, a, a, a move into something. Uh, even doing something more independently it, it, this was it was challenging a challenging new start 
but a new start and having victory in it. It's like, okay, this is, I'm not going to be making the same amount of money doing whatever this is, this new thing, uh, but I'm still doing it. I'm not going to have a lot of time for myself, but I'm still doing it. Um, people are talking about me. My life looks like someone just tossed it up on a plate and now everything is falling down or, or falling into place. Um, but at this point, it, it looks like it's not. Uh, the challenge of newness here with the Ace of Swords, you severed ties with maybe a past situation, connection, and you're moving forward. This is really good. Look where it takes you to. The Ten of Cups. Being content uh, emotionally. Your material needs being met. It's like you got clear with yourself and said, I just can't keep being on the merry-go-round of. Okay. All right, so um, that's career and finance. Okay, so let's get into... Uh, love and romance. It looks like in career in the career and finance sector, you're gonna yeah, man. lots of newness. Um, only because you got clear with yourself, you decided like, look, I gotta get off of this merry-go-round. You know, of maybe you were holding a, a job and you were discontent. I'm, you know, bored and. Maybe the job always ended. You found yourself back at, you know, toying, toying with self-employment or whatever. But now you're saying, you know what? I'm just going to be self-employed or I'm going to do this other job or go elsewhere. I don't know, you know. Um, but you definitely got off the merry-go-round. Okay, let's see. What do you have to tell Aquarius about the person that they're coming to the reading for? I have to tell Aquarius about the person. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have the Queen of Air. We have the Queen of Earth. Woo. The Emperor and the Hermit. All right. So what they want to tell you is that there's two. Yeah. There's two women involved here, okay? And one man, it looks like. It could be same sex, so just, you know, kind of maneuver it to your life, but not too much. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit, right? Um, the Hermit card here. There's somebody who's really evaluating their foundation their situation and something something that they've created this man could be doing this he understands that they're I'm hearing that he likes or loves two women for two different reasons um, but this person is in contemplation about what they do next um, what action do they take next with the Ace of Fire? What opportunity will they embark on with particular person next? There's an element of maybe Aquarius, you're separated from this person. Um, you guys don't see every day, see each other every day, you don't talk every day, something of that nature. Um, this could be the father of your children. It could be the mother of their children, you know, vice versa. This person is contemplating. They're being very structured in how they go about reigniting or igniting something. Two more cards of clarity. These cards should not be in reverse. Five of air in reverse, it looks like. Someone wants to come out of conflict. Someone wants to come out of a, a love affair, drama, childish mental games, behavior. And it could be within a union, within a marriage, within a long-standing commitment. They want to come out of that. It could be with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
one more card for the person that Aquarius has got. Right, they want to walk away. They have the desire to move on. They want to spiritually grow. They may even see spiritual growth in you or with you. They want to merge life with you. They feel like there's an air of mystery about you. Maybe because you guys are not talking every day. Yeah, they feel shut out or shut off from, you know, um, what used to be with you. This person, what could be holding them back in regards to coming toward you or making something solid with you is maybe money problems. The fact that they need to accept other people's help in regards to getting out of a situation that they have little confidence in. Um, lack of forward movement. They don't have a lot of confidence. Six of it, but they want to move on. They want happier and better times. They want to end this difficult situation as the five of areas in reverse, six of air upright. Wow, they may want to bring the gavel down on this situation. They may even want to come to you, Aquarius, and apologize. Make things fair and right. They may even want to have a new start um, by merging life, uh, you know, like marriage and travel and children later in life. Yeah, they, um, they're looking back on this relationship and seeing what it was and what it, what it can be. Um, they aren't moving, but they're definitely looking on it. They're worried that you don't see things the same way. All right, what is it this person wants to tell Aquarius? What is it that this person wants to tell Aquarius? Seven of eight. Um, they may want to clear the air with you. They want you to understand that you only see surface level stuff. There's more that's going on here. There could be like some really turbulent energy with this person in their relationship, in their marriage. That they're really going through the gauntlet here with a particular person, place, or thing. Uh, they want you to know that they have a heavy energy, anxiety about making a decision. Uh, they're at a stalemate right here. They, they're doing a lot in regards to their situation to not make a decision. Uh, they're burying their head in the sand. What they want you to know is that this is tough for them. They, they need a friend. This is causing them to have low energy. Three of water. They, they want to come to you and celebrate and re, reunite, reignite. They want you to, they actually have another, there's a graduation here, like, wait until the birth or the graduation or the something. They want you to wait. Then you guys can reconnect. But they want to reconnect. Night of air. They want to tell you, um, yeah, that after a birth or a graduation or something moves forward, that they can come to you. Um, and you guys can resolve this and, and things will move a lot faster. They want to tell you that they think of you heavily. They find that with you, it is healthy. It is you fit in their life. There is fitness for you. There's a sense of usefulness in this relationship. They feel useful with you. They feel like you are a soulmate. Okay. All right, so we're going to see on the other side um, what will happen with this person. Okay, and we're going to get the advice. We're going to ask the cards, what should Aquarius do in this relationship, in this situation? Let's get some advice. 
to close out the reading. What should Aquarius be focused on moving forward, just generally? Okay. You should be focused on joining in adult children. Join a group. Join people who share the same interests. If you have young adult children, check in with them. Family changes. Yeah, you, know, you could be moving, exiting, entering a situation, selling something, something that that shifts the energy within a family dynamic. Leaving, you could be moving, you could be leaving negativity behind, um, emotions and seeking and finding. Grief work comes out all the time for the Aquarius. Grieve a situation so that you can move forward. If you need time to just cry about it, take that time to cry about it. But then get up, pick yourself up, and move forward. Um, you can't rest and dwell in what wasn't, or what isn't, or what's not happening. Okay? So this is what you should be focused on moving forward. Whatever you're looking for is looking for you. So if you're ready for partnership, if you're ready for a new job, if you're ready for healing, if you're ready for all of that, it's it's looking for you and it will find you do do explore your emotions aquarius it's not something that the aquarius people do often but sit with yourself in quiet say how do i feel about that why do i feel about that when i get high anxiety about a situation i stop and say okay why do you feel this way and then i and then um i kind of go through it logically and then um it makes sense in regards to why my emotions are now um, stirred or I'm feeling you know high anxiety about you can kind of process it better you know like why am I mad at him or why am I mad at her oh because they said this but I wanted them to say that oh I'm mad because I didn't get the outcome I wanted okay okay so I need to understand I don't control people right so you, you kind of go through the mental exercise and it, and it helps you calm, calm yourself down and it helps you to relieve release and move forward so um, that's just one example you may have deep emotions about some situation that it'll, it'll take time and maybe even um, grief work you may need to even visit a counselor a therapist whomever whomever you think can help you um, so yeah there you are Let's go to the other side and let's ask the cards how Aquarius should operate in this situation and relationship. Okay? All right. See you on the other side, guys. Thank you for everything. Continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Random reading for you guys. Highly requested. Take care.